Welcome to the GSL Code A. We are in the third day of the round of 48. This is the afternoon session. And in our first best of three, spawning to the top for the team Evil Geniuses. He is a Protoss player. It's EG's JYP. And JYP up against the Terran player today. Here we have the Protoss Panda. And let's have a quick look at his opponent starting to the bottom of the map in blue. Starting for team MVP is no bless. <laughs> waited there for the Street Fighter voice and then yeah, I'm like, I know. So. Uh, wait a second. He's got like a battery pack or something in there in the booth. I don't know what that was. It was actually probably just audio controls, but it looks like it's probably using that charge of cell phone or something later. I actually got to buy one of these uh, battery packs where you just charge the battery pack and it, it has enough power to like charge two cell phone batteries you just keep that with you that's awesome i actually use that at bwc when my phone was dying yeah i know i got you that thing yeah. man. <laughs> when i saw that i was like you know what i wonder if this is expensive because this would be so useful i wouldn't have to worry about my phone ever it's not really expensive it's actually quite handy i have to get one of those as well that when i buy my new phone i feel that i'm going to toy around with it a lot more than i do with my current phone and then uh, the battery will definitely run out. Uh, so at this point, like, you know, there's probably going to be a situation with me. I use my phone so much it dies multiple times in the day. I'm going to have my battery that's in my phone fully charged, then my spare battery charged, and the charger for the battery charged, then no matter what, it's like, even if I'm in the middle of the desert, I could probably have my phone for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you would need your phone there, I guess. I guess. Calling for help the entire time. Where are you? Hmm, wait a second. <laughs> I wonder if Google Maps uh, can help me get out. In the desert? That's actually a really good point. I have no idea. <laughs> that would be cool. Stuck in the desert and then I just go for Google Maps. My problem with that GPS usually doesn't really work that yeah. well for me. It might not work out. By the way, the pylon placement for JYP, he has a second pylon near his natural. This may indicate that he wants to put a second gateway there and rally units out faster. But he's taking a second gas and normally this is executed differently, so I wonder what his plan with this is. Yeah, and uh, also the pylon is one of the pylons in Noblesse is probably going to scout. He is on his way with the SUV to the top and tries to have a quick look into the main base. The gas timing here is revealed and now of course Noblesse knows about the double gas, knows about the cybernetic score timing. But yeah, the pylon to the left side is a little bit odd. The, the thing is, Noblas, see, he just sent his SV back in there. And this has the same effect as a, a Maka Barracks does, where you put it actually at your natural. And when that SV is in there, it's like, wait a minute, there's only one pylon. That doesn't make sense. He must be hiding something, and it can really scare you and trick you, but he doesn't see it still. Uh, and that just gives him a little bit more coverage, in fact. Yeah. We have the expansion now for Noblesse, so he's not going for one of these one base timings that so many Terran players try to execute in a map like this. It's really, really common in this matchup. I mean, Hart is one of the players that is most known for his one base play, but there are others as well. Later on today, we are going to see ASD, who did that to Mana twice in the last season and was successful. And now Noblesse just following it up with the double barracks and also with the double gas. Right now, Pretty stand -up. yeah, JYP's checking for proxies, so is Noble S with his SCB. He's really suspicious about what's happening, but in reality, JYP's just going to be doing a, a double gas, one gateway expand. Just got cozy in the studio. Yeah, we just got the lights turned off. I feel like I'm really into this. It's really easy to see. I feel like I'm actually just watching a movie. JYP with the, the Twilight Council, and uh, that's actually the structure that he's hiding to the left side of the map, so... The pilot is being used to put the Twilight Council outside of his main base, so even if there's a scan, then uh, Noblesse won't know what exactly is going on. So, Blink Stalkers on two bases, apparently. Yeah, that looks like the plan. No other build really makes sense here. If you were going for Dark Shrine, you would made it earlier. There's no real build you can do with this, and the Robo now confirms. This SCV, though, if he doesn't... If he actually turns aside, he'll see this. Oh, wow, he's barely did not. No, it's close, so though. So close. Yeah, definitely was. I mean, JYP had the Stalker there exactly for this reason, but you're right. If Noblesse would have scouted to the left, he would have seen it. On the other hand, why would you? Yeah, exactly. There's no reason to believe that there's going to be structures there. It's a really well-hidden place by JYP. He actually got his, uh, his name, well, not his actual name or his ID or anything like that, but he, he got known in Korea for his Blink Stalker play. And it's really exciting. He's just, now, what he will likely do here is add a forward pylon down to the south. Send the probe down there. In fact, right now he is. And then with that four pound, he can reinforce the stalkers. It's a great map for Blink. Yeah, so far everything is going according to JYP's plan. He plays this really solid. 
Uh, but it looks like the pilot might actually be scouted. Noblesse is now... Oh, wow. He sees it. There's something fishy going on. And he cancels, of course, to save it. But this pilot is going to be just as scary. The problem is, of course, that it's going to be a little bit delayed. That blink is nearly completed. And of course, Noblesse at this point is also trying to prepare. He's going for Marauders immediately. The stim is already halfway done. And if he's able to uh, get stim out and a few Marauders, then he's in a really good position in defending. He has the one bunker at the front. And in oh, he's building another oh, two in his main base. He knows exactly yeah. what's going on. He yeah. scanned. He saw the Stalkers and the Observer coming out. And he knows exactly what all he's facing. He's... He's actually a genius that he, with that one scan, knows everything and starts to put bunkers in his main base. That now, JYP is playing this totally blind right now. That's so perfect here for Noblesse. He really does a great job, and with the bunkers in the main base, he should be fine against this if he plays it well. He is prepared. Yeah, he's got Stim even. Almost done here, and his Marauder count is getting a little bit higher. The Command Center is pulled out as well. Wow. JYP really struggling to find an angle of attack. He will get this depot. On the other hand, this is starting to be a little bit of a problem if you think about it. With him sacking his natural, JYP is now in a really good position uh, regarding his economy. Regarding but that though, wow. a ton of Marines sneaked by, and with this, he can actually do a ton of damage. The Stalker's blinking away. Really nice micro impact by JYP. I thought he would get more probes here, but regardless, he is losing a lot. Yeah, you're right. So these Marines doing a little bit of damage, taking down five harvesters. But still, at this time, we have 23 harvesters against 34. For, in favor of Noblesse, but JYP can now just continue the double pro production and as long as he's able to deny this natural, he is fine. But the problem for him is, medivacs are out, we have also Stim now ready, so Noblesse is going to take his natural again. He's going to have to micro really well against this Ah, he, he actually blinked all the stalkers rather than individually doing it. He's so scared that he's going to lose his right he doesn't want to fight straight up. You know, if not for those Marines who just ran past JYP's defenses into the main base, I feel that uh, the Protoss player for EG would have been in a great position. But as it is, Noblesse with this really cautious play is looking at a very, very strong two-base economy, whereas JYP is lacking harvesters. Yeah, uh, and now he not only is he lacking harvesters, but he's got a little bit of an awkward tech where he doesn't really have any area of effect damage against the stemmed Marauders with healing Medivex. Blink Stalkers purely are not going to be enough to take a fight, so he needs to switch his composition a little bit. That's why he's getting a, a gas at his natural, but this drop, he saw it with the pylon. He's going to try to intercept it. Numa Noblesse is killing that spotter pylon. And Noblesse is now not only supply blocking JYP, but also getting uh, his combat shield. He wants to get additional medibacks. And now is the time for him to put some pressure onto the EG Protoss player. He can start dropping into the main base of his opponent. And JYP, of course, is adding now a few Immortals to his composition. But he is in an awkward spot where he has to build Harvesters. He has to try to get a good economy again. And at the same time, he's aware of his opponent's units. So he needs the army as well. A very difficult situation for him to handle. He's barely been able to produce units at all, you know, with all these pylons on the map that he made, which normally is a good thing. You spot your opponent's units. But in this case, since he wasn't able to do damage, he's so behind then supply blocked significantly i don't think he can actually hold this with only blink stalkers the immortals coming out he's trying to add some centuries centuries is certainly going to be useful it's going to be tough for him that one's for sure especially since noblesse can now elevate in the main base if he wants to but the stalkers for jyp are ready high ground vision has been granted and now the terror player stimming in Taking down the pylon and trying to, oh wow, taking down another one and unpowering two of the gateways. Now Force Fields go down here trying to help out two more medevacs join in. This is just going to be too much for JYP. He's again, supply block, the Twilight Council will go down as well here. This and is just so much damage output. Yeah, he's got so much damage output, you're right. And the damage output of JYP is so difficult to actually finish units off. The Stalker fires so slowly that it gives the medevacs time to actually heal the bio force. And now we have once again the opportunity for Noblesse to elevate it into the main base of his opponent. This is why he scanned at the natural. He wanted to know exactly where JYP positioned his Stalkers. This is just so difficult for the EG Brothers player. He's trying to add additional gates, but now his production is really in a bad spot. And he's still supply block. Yeah, he's just lost so much. He's trying to target down medevacs right now. The Observer will get targeted down. There's only a few Marines in this composition. I think Noblesse is going to stick around just a little bit longer. But he's got that third Command Center up now. 
He's trying to really outmaneuver JYP. If JYP focuses in the main base, he's going to go for the natural. He's, he's splitting him into two groups. Yeah, no, Bless is now darting into the mineral line in the main base, and at the same time, the rest of his army is heading towards this natural. Oh, wow. Nice force field, but the big problem is that it's just not enough to stop this fire. Exactly. I mean, he's going to take out the expensive gas units at the natural, while the drop, yeah, it is defended in the main. He lost so much at the natural. And with the third base up right now, JYP can't even really pressure him. Yeah, exactly. Noblesse is covering all spaces. It's not like he's only trying to attack here. No, at the same time, he's building SCVs, he's going for the third orbital, and he has his upgrades queued up. So this is really the perfect spot for Noblesse. JYP is not crumbling just yet, but there are definitely cracks in the defense. Yeah. Robotic support bay on the way. He's supply blocked again, not by his own will. I think he's probably lost over 10 pylons in this game. That's a thousand resources you know, extra there. But if you look at the resources lost, you can see it's not too significantly different. The tech, though, is the big problem. Exactly. At this point now, we have Noblesse with the knowledge that he's ahead in this game. He can play this very, very calm and collected. As long as he doesn't make any major mistakes, he will still be ahead in the uh, game. And JYP, it's his job to just try to catch up with his opponent now. He's trying to make his mechanics work, chrono boosting his... Uh, yeah, well his forge so that he gets the upgrades, but this is just a very difficult spot and maybe with the first Colossi he might be able to move out and do some damage, but if Noblesse doesn't overextend his economy, I don't really think that's gonna happen. I think JYP needs to start plus one because now it started, because if he doesn't, if he didn't do that, he would have been really behind in upgrades. He also will have to remake his Twilight Council since he lost that earlier. And think about what you want to do as a Protoss player here. You don't only want to rely on Colossa, you want to have Storm as well. The Twilight Count that has been killed, so you can't even get the Templar Archive. And the Ghost Academy is already more than halfway done, so Noblesse is really not taking any chances here. Looks like he wants to put on the aggression though. Guardian Shield helping out, adding on to that plus one armor. The Stalkers were in the main, they're not participating in this fight. Now he blinks them down, but it may be a bit too late. Some of the Zealots here actually have taken a break. And the Force Fields are not really all that great. Now finally JYP using a few Additional ones. The Guardian Shield is doing a decent job here, but Noblesse just simply has too much. He's starting up the ramp once again, tries to take down the Colossus just out of range. Yeah, just out of range. The warp ends here are a bit late, but you know what? Noblesse is being forced back by that Colossus. He may have targeted a little bit too much in that first part of the engagement. Yeah, it's definitely true. JYP holds again. His big problem though is that Noblesse can trade armies without a problem at all because he has the better income. Yeah. And now he's starting to take out these very gas expensive units and JYP has pushed back here. He's probably even going to have to pull probes to try to hope to hold on here. Zealots are warping right into the fire of Noblesse's army. And I think JYP is going to have to type out here very soon. The Colossus is definitely keeping him in the game for a little bit longer. But now it's dead and the rest of his army is evaporating as well. He's dropping down to 50 supply against 130. G, G, Noblesse takes game number one against JYP. Really solid defense. Uh, not cutting any corners, making tons of bunkers in the main and pulling the, the command center out. Yeah, he lost some mining time, but that marine run by was so critical yeah. to get him into the economy lead. That marine run by did so much damage. He lost mining time, he lost a few of his harvesters. He was already a little bit behind because Noblesse focused more on his economy. But Noblesse playing it very safe. Even lifting, you know, even prematurely lifting the command center into his main base, building those extra bunkers. He did everything right. He knew, okay, if I have to defend two bases, it's going to be too tough against Blink Stalkers. Let's just make sure that JYP can't do any damage here. Yeah, really just... M many Terran players have tried to hold the natural, knowing that they're up against a two-base Protoss. They can't afford to lift it, but he knew just how to play it right. Map number two is going to be Daybreak, uh, a two-player map where we have seen... All sorts of play. Uh, even the Blink Starker play we saw last game has been used uh, just simply on the ground on this map. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting because usually, you know, when we started this, I could see Noblesse winning this, but I still thought that JYP had a bit of an edge here. Yeah. But currently, the MVP players just in general are doing so well. Sniper advancing to the round of four yesterday at Code S, and today it's Noblesse who does really well in the first game against his opponent. JYP has to come up with uh, some kind of master plan to tie the series.